Hey everyone, Bradley Jack Design here with another design breakdown, this time Juju Smith-Schuster's turn. So this is a Juju Smith-Schuster graphic I made. There's a yellow version, but the files are pretty much the same. Just some coloring is different on each of them. So I'm going to break down this one, which you guys seem to prefer over the yellow one anyway. So let's start. As you can see over here, we've got a bunch of different folders per usual. Uh, I'm just going to hop in here and show you what it took to make this. So first off, we've got our background. So I've got a photo of Heinz Field, I have some grass down here at the bottom, and then I have this sort of background of Heinz Field that correlates with Juju diving. So let me just turn that layer on too. So I've got this clipped version of Heinz Field, and then another clipped version behind it that just adds a little bit more detail when I turn on this gradient map. So you turn on this gradient map, it's a dark gray to black gradient map. Basically, I just wanted to show a little bit of detail behind this clipped out version of Heinz Field. So that's what we have here for the background. So on top of that, we've got a photo of Juju's head that I masked out. I went ahead and edited this using Lightroom and Photoshop. If you want to learn how I edit photos, go ahead and check out my other video on how to edit photos using Light shop, light shop, <laughs> light room in Photoshop. Um, on this one, I have a hue and saturation layer that I have the reds. I have these lightness and saturation down a bit. As you can see, this is real bright and vibrant. I wanted this to match sort of the darkness of the background here. I also wanted to match this photo of Juju running here. So I have this photo of Juju running that I wanted this to match. Um, on top of this head layer, I also have a layer that you can't really see what it does. This actually might not do anything. This might be an accidental layer. Oh well. I have a levels layer set to multiply that I have to darken up the edges up here, up where his hair is. So there were a little bit of some yellow areas or areas from where I clipped out the photo. So I just darkened it up a bit from there. So I've got Juju running. Um, I actually have a smart filter on this set to path blur where the path is moving this way because this is how Juju is probably turning and then I just went ahead and masked some of the blur out using a brush so I made it so his body was moving um, but not his sort of head and jersey so you can still see what's going on with Juju there. So on top of this Heinz field, I have Juju diving. So I did the same thing with this. I have a blurred gallery layer of him, a path going probably this way because he's diving for the ball. So I have that and I have it masked out so you can see his jersey and his face clearly though. And then I have a layer on top of the Heinz field of just his shadow. So there's sort of some realism to it that it's actually him diving. On top of all this, I just have some halftone dots to add some texture around the background. Um, this is a different tutorial I'll have to show you later on how I create halftone patterns like this. I just wanted to add a little bit of texture. And then we have our lighting layers. So I've got a bunch of textures and lighting in here that I went ahead and used. So I've got this paper texture that I lightened up a bit. Uh, you can see I just lightened it up with a levels layer. I have a paper layer that I lightened up a bit as well. I uh, just add a little bit more texture. I have this sort of techy image here that I threw a gradient map on that's yellow and black and white just to add a little bit of yellow texture to the top. I have this light leak I use in most of my designs that I put a gradient map of yellow as well, the same yellow, the Steelers yellow they use. And I have that set over, the black is over quite a bit so it's only just sort of this top highlight hit that you're seeing. I've got a couple Sparks images that I threw on here that I threw gradient maps on. Same gradient map, same yellow, just adjust where the yellow and the black is to see what looks good. On top of all of this, I have the same Spark layer just uh, blown up and blurred a little bit with the same gradient map just to have a little bit more depth on the image. And then I have a Lens Dirt file I have on this with a yellow to black gradient map as well. And I adjusted the gradient map. It looks like this for this circumstance to um, have some of it show, but just basically make it until how I like it to look. Then we've got some signatures. I've just got a small signature here of 
of his. It's just a photo of his signature with a couple gradient maps on it. Uh, I've got a whole different video that you can watch on how I add signatures, so go ahead and take a look at that. And then I've got two other signatures of his, blown up and slightly blurred, set to screen um, on top of everything just to add a little bit of depth. And then on top of all of this, I have some overlays. So I have a overlay of drop blues, which gets rid of a lot of the blue in it. So it's basically, it's uh, changing the black or the gray to be a slightly different tint or hue of gray. On top of that, I've got 2395, which is set to actually 100%. I liked how it looked like at 100 instead of 50, which I generally use. And then I have this candlelight one, which you can see desaturates the yellows a little bit. I didn't want the yellows to be too vibrant since this is supposed to be a little dark and grittier. So that's what I have on that. And then I actually have a brightness and contrast layer just to add a little bit more contrast to the design itself. And then after that, I pretty much just put a watermark down here at the bottom, but that's the Juju Smith-Schuster design. Uh, again, it's creating a background with a gradient map and some photos of Heinz Field then I have some photos of Juju Smith-Schuster that I edited in Lightroom and Photoshop. Um, again, take a look at my other video on how to do that. I get asked a lot, what did you do to get this effect? And I literally use the same settings pretty much every time. Um, so go ahead and watch that video to learn how to do that. Also, go and learn how to clip out a player using Select and Mask instead of the Pen Tool. That's what I use for all of these. It didn't take long to clip any of these out, less than five minutes. So go ahead and check out that video on my YouTube channel as well. Um, so I've got the players and then I have some lighting overlays on top of it and then some of these color lookup layers on top of it to glue everything together. I hope you like this design breakdown. If you have any other suggestions for design breakdowns you want to see, go ahead and drop a comment below. Other than that, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks.